Okay, guys, step by step guide uh, for the solution. Your PC ran into the problem and it's to restart. The error is like uh, it's all initialization failed. So, if you guys are getting the error like this, it's a whole initialization failed. Your PC ran, your PC has seriously ran into the problems. Uh, you're gonna follow the number of solutions in this tutorial. I hope one of the other solutions helps you. If it really helps you, you're gonna share this video with your friends and family. Okay, guys, you're gonna type the command SFC space slash scan now. It needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time. Uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay, guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. You're gonna choose command prompt and click on that. You're gonna choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're gonna choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just give some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So you just give some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're gonna type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're gonna exit it. And now restart your computer. Okay guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So, you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently, you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So, you can run this command even from X drive in an advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from an advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see so everything is okay. And here it is. The boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay, guys, this is another command you're gonna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So, guys, you got I got a uh, error 87. So, some spe uh, some spelling mistakes. There's no uh, okay, some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm gonna press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're gonna use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. So it's just gonna take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also. If you cannot log in into your PC, so if you have a loop problem, you can run it from advanced mode, it's X drive. Just give some time and it will be done.
So if we do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's down with a 39, 41%. So you can see 100% the operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it. And then I have to give a one restart to your computer. And then I have to check if the issue is fixed. Troubleshoot. In the troubleshoot, again, you have an advanced option. Inside advanced option, again, you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it. So guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay guys, I hope command is visible or you can watch it in a full screen. So you can see, even I've left the command in the pinned post, it's a comment section down below. B -O -O T R E C dot E X E slash rebuild B C D and guys you're gonna press enter key. So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna type the second command. Okay, guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot R E C dot E X E space slash fix mbr click on enter okay now the third command and the last command that you need to type bootrec dot exe slash fix boot fix goat press enter key it's some kinds of access denied so sometime you get the message like this so type all these commands correctly and maybe in your case access is not denied in my case is access denied two commands work successfully third command access denied so anyway you're going to type all these three commands correctly and then finally you just have to exit it exit the command prompt turn off your pc and then start your PC again or just directly you're going to restart your computer. So open the search and you can search for the BIOS. You can see download the BIOS for HP Pavilion and DV6. So you can give the exact model number of your laptop. You know the model number of your laptop. You can check the model number of your laptop in a system information or you can get the model number of a laptop or service tag from the back of your PC, you have a service tag, you have a printed over there, it's a service tag model number. So you can just find the exact driver bias for the exact PC model number. If you install unwanted, try to install unwanted bias, your system may be corrupted or damaged. So always download the exact bias driver for a for your PC uh, with a model number or a brand you can see it's the exact model number it's like pavilion db 6000 it's a entertainment notebook so you should find the exact driver for exact model number and download and install it if it is a Dell you can type Dell so depending upon the model number if it is Dell G7 you can type Dell G7 and press enter key which is official web and download the exact driver through service tag or if you know the model number if you can recognize your pc through the model number in its official web you can download the bias driver and install it so click on any click on the link let me show you how to install just click on the link so always visit the official web to download the bios when you go to download the bios from the official web it may ask you for the service tag service tag you'll find at the back end of your system or maybe you find in the Receipt you purchase your PC. So enter the service tag to find the proper BIOS for your system. Randomly, you may install the BIOS of a um, of a different uh, uh, brand or a model, and that might not work. So always download the proper BIOS for your system. So enter the service tag over here, and then click on search. It detects your product, and then now click on submit. Once it detects your product, you can see it's a driver and download.
you can see the urgent you can see it was released on it's a bios 10 february 2020 so download it you can see it is downloading now before you install it make sure your pc is well charged and your power cable is plugged in so always plug in the power cable and make sure your pc is charged at least 20 to 30 percent do not unplug the power cable okay guys you just give a right click on it and run as an administrator on the top otherwise just uh, give a double click on it it can ask you for the permission click on yes and you're going to see this you just have to click on update so one more time i would like to tell you make sure your pc is 20 to uh, sorry guys 20 to 30 percent charged and make sure your power cable is plugged in and while updating do not unplug the power cable and do not turn off the pc otherwise your pc might uh, crash or something might go wrong so just before updating it do not unplug the power cable make sure power cable is plugged in 20 to 30 percent charged and never turn off the pc so while updating your pc may go black for a while and it may restart so click on update now so it will ask you for the restart so you just have to restart your pc you can see it is asking to restart just click on restart you can see it is restarting looks like some app is running so click on restart and so you can see system is all black and it is updating the firmware so it might take some time as uh, six percent completed okay guys finally it's done and it is restarting and here we go you're just gonna choose it's a troubleshoot and here you have uh, reset this pc let's click on that keep my files or remove everything okay guys this will restart your pc and after restarting this is what you get your account one you used to log in your pc so if it is password protected you have to enter the password and click on continue if it is not password protected just directly click on continue now once you click on continue this is what you get resetting this pc getting the things ready so give us some time and it will get all the things ready okay guys now here it is once it's once uh, it get ready click on this So now this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your PC will be all the way ready to use. So finally here is your PC all the way ready to use.